ask that you please mute uh, your cell phones or and microphones uh, during the presentation. If you do have any questions or any comments, please wait till the end, towards the end. Uh, we have some time uh, to address those. And if you do have, if you want to go ahead and put it in the chat down below, you're more than welcome to on the bottom right. Um, so we'll go ahead and move on to the next slide. Uh, so before we get started, uh, do we have anybody that's representing council districts 8, 9, or 11? If so, do you, is there any comments or uh, anything they would like to say? I'm Rachel Adi. I'm Rachel. I'm here with District 11. Just want to thank everybody who's joining this call and thank our city departments for being here and presenting this evening. Thank you all so much. Okay, thank you, Rachel. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. So good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining. Uh, this is the pre-construction public meeting uh, for the Worth Heights infrastructure improvements. Uh, 2022 bond year two contract eight uh, city project number 104183. Uh, my name is Christian Cardona. I am the project manager and who will also be presenting uh, today. Uh, I'm with the City of Fort Worth Transportation and Public Works Department. Uh, we also have online is the design consultant and the contractor uh, to assist with any questions that residents may have. So we'll go ahead and get started. So the purpose of this meeting is to provide project scope and what kind of improvements are happening within your street. Uh, the, the meeting is also provide information regarding construction um, and anticipated schedule uh, for each section. So, uh, for the agenda that I'll be covering for today is uh, down below. Uh, we have the project overview, summary of improvements, construction information, proposed con uh, construction schedule, and uh, we'll save uh, the questions and comments for the end of the presentation. So we'll go ahead and uh, move to the project overview. Uh, so on this slide, I'll start off by saying, um, so as part of the 2022 bond, Fort Worth Transportation and Public Works uh, Department partners with the Fort Worth uh, Water Department to replace uh, water and sewer pipe that is in need of replacement within the project area. So with that being said, I've decided to divide these streets into two categories. So the first category, we'll go ahead and start off with the 2022 bond funded streets. Um, We'll start off with uh, number one uh, down to your bottom left is your 5th Avenue from Flint Street to West Seminary Drive. Uh, number two up on the top of the screen is West Buick Street from 5th Avenue to South Henderson Street. Uh, moving further to the right, uh, we have West Buick Street from Hempfield Street to May Street. And going down to the bottom right, uh, you'll have McClure Street, which is number four from Debbie Street to Elvin Warren. So I'll move on to the water department funded streets. Uh, number five is going to be Blodgett Avenue from McClure Street to the East Dead End. Number six is Meriwether Avenue uh, from Burke Road to East Dead End. Number seven is Elva Warren Street from uh, McClure Street to East Dead End. And number, I, number eight at the very top, you'll have this small section of McClure Street from Elva Warren to Butler. The last one is number nine, which is down on the bottom left, um, which is Fifth Avenue from West Seminary Drive to Broadish, Broadish Street. Uh, so these are uh, water department funded streets. So we'll go ahead and move on to summary of improvements. So as you can see on the photos uh, on the screen, there's a couple of existing condition uh, pictures that I've taken. Um, on the far left, you can see that on the clear street, you have damaged asphalt, missing curb. In some, some portions of the street, you'll have water ponding. Uh, along with West Buick, you'll have damaged asphalt. And on, on Fifth Avenue, which is the uh, picture to the right, you'll have some damaged asphalt. In some portions, you'll have ponding as well. So moving on to the next slide, I uh, have some more existing condition uh, pictures. Uh, most of these, well, all three of these pictures just so uh, the deterioration of the asphalt and how poor the condition of the street is now, including the driveway. So this will all be addressed in uh, in this project. So we'll go ahead and uh, start off with the summary of improvements. Uh, so I've decided to actually divide these sections based off the same improvements that will be undergoing. 
Um, so we have these three sections. Um, they're all bond funded. Uh, I'll run through them um, quickly, uh, line by line, and, and then what kind of improvements they entail. So Fifth Avenue from West Seminary Drive to Flint Street, uh, you, have, uh, West Bu you have West Buick from Hemphill Street to May Street, uh, West Buick from Fifth Avenue to South Henderson Street. So all three of the streets will be getting uh, a new existing, a new proposed water line upgraded from existing sections to an eight inch. Specifically for West Buick from Hemphill Street to May Street, this will be getting a, a new sewer system upgrading from a six inch to an eight inch. Uh, for pavement improvements, uh, there'll be new concrete pavement with concrete curbs, uh, new concrete driveways with 11 foot minimum width or match existing width, and new five foot sidewalk on both sides of the street. So uh, this portion of McClure is also bond funded. Um, so the, the improvements contained on this specific section is uh, upgrade of the new water line from a six inch to an eight inch uh, for paving improvements. Uh, new concrete pavement with concrete curbs, um, new concrete driveways with a level foot minimum width or match existing, uh, new five foot sidewalk. So we'll go ahead and move on to the uh, water department funded streets. Uh, first, we'll go ahead and start off with Blodgett Avenue, which is number five. Uh, this will be undergoing an upgrade in the uh, new sanitary sewer system from a six inch to an eight inch, uh, along with new pavement, uh, new asphalt pavement. So we'll move next to these uh, three sections in uh, this cluster of, of streets, which is Merriweather Avenue, Elf Warren, and McClure. Um, so for Merriweather Avenue from Burke Road to East Dead End and Elva Warren Street from McClure Street to East Dead End, this will be going water and sewer improvements. So we'll be upgrading the, the existing water and sewer from six inch to eight inch, um, and we'll be doing paving improvements uh, with new asphalt. Uh, for number eight, which is McClure Street from Elva Warren to Butler, uh, this will be undergoing um, new water improvements, which will be upgrading existing six inch to eight inch, and this will have a new asphalt pavement in that section. Uh, last but not least, uh, we'll go to this portion of Fifth Avenue, uh, which is also water, which is also water department funded. Uh, this is from West Seminary Drive to West Broadest Street. Uh, this will be undergoing improvements of the water line uh, from existing six inch to an eight inch and uh, new asphalt pavement. So in the next couple slides, we'll go ahead and um, present some frequently asked questions before construction phase starts. Uh, so why are we doing this project? So as of May 2022, residents of Fort Worth voted to pass a bond program to fund the street reconstruction project and target locations most needed of improvements. Um, in addition to that, uh, we partnered with um, Fort Worth Water Department um, to replace any utilities that are in need of improvement in that area. So how will we know when construction is starting? So you will receive a seven day notice um, uh, as a front door hanger. Um, these notices will be delivered uh, for any major construction work that will happen within, within the week. So the second notice will be a one day notice before construction starts. You will also get this um, um, the day before uh, any major construction work starts. So will water be turned off? So during construction of the new water line, there will be a few hours that services will need to be turned off. Um, so there will be a delay uh, once to transfer from the existing line to the temporary water line and then once more to transfer from the temporary line to the new line. So the contractor will, will knock on your door and let you know um, when that will be occurring, when the water will be turned off. So you replace the water service line up to my house. So as part of the city projects, uh, we replace the existing water meter, meter box and service line. So the service line will be replaced up to the property line. Um, for anyone that's asking that question. So 
So if you see water running down the street during construction, don't be alarmed. So as part of the construction process, the water line has to be flushed and tested, you know, to ensure that there's free of any contaminants. Um, so please make sure to not make an effort to turn any of this water off. It's just part of the construction um, process. So how does this temporary line impact my home and water bill? So during the installation, your service will be connected to a temporary water line. Um, so during that time, you're connected to a temporary water line. Your water bill will be based on previous previous usage. As discussed previously, we will be replacing the water and uh, sewer services up to the property line. So uh, as you can see on the diagram, this is a good representation of where we stop, um, you know, our limits of improvements. Uh, so will the construction affect my irrigation? Uh, in the case that you do have a sprinkler system, uh, the contractor may want to ask you to start, you know, to turn it on before they start working in, in that area to prevent um, from damaging the uh, irrigation system. So are we getting new curb and curb gutter and sidewalks. So all the curbs and driveways will be replaced on bond funded streets. Uh, for water department funded streets, limited portions of existing curb and gutter will be replaced. Uh, for sidewalks, um, we'll, majority of sidewalks will be included in bond funded streets. So what happens if my property is damaged? So during most, during the construction timeline, uh, oh, so sorry, will I be able to access my driveway? Uh, so during most of the construction timeline, um, you will have access to your driveway. Uh, the only time you will not have access to your driveway is uh, when pavement is being placed directly in front of your property or when the driveway itself is being replaced. So what happens if my property is damaged? The contractor is responsible for taking before construction pictures. Uh, we do also encourage property owners to uh, take pictures and photos before construction starts. Um, so if any damage results and any activities during the responsibility uh, during, the, the, during the construction, it's in the responsibility of the contractor. So will there be lane closures during the construction? Uh, there will be lane closures during the water and sewer installation, as well as you know subgrade preparation and paving. So there will be signs on each side, uh, each end of the of the block to alert motorists of this. Um, one specific section I kind of I want to mention is on West Buick uh, from Hempville to May Street. There will be a road closure. Um, that crosses the railroad tracks. Uh, so as we're making improvements near the railroad, so um, there'll be a detour to direct traffic south into Bittison Street. So additionally, down below you have the hours of operation, which is seven to six, Monday through Friday. Um, if contractor does work on Saturdays, it's nine to five. So will the city's trash truck be able to pick up my trash and recycling during construction? So in, in the case that your street, your side of the street is closed, the contractor will move the trash to the opposite side of the street so that uh, all the trash can be collected um, by all the residents. So if you do have emergencies, uh, you can call that first number. Uh, it's available 24 hours a day. For non-emergencies, you can call the second number displayed. Uh, we also encourage to download the Fort Worth app to report any issues. Um, it's a great app to have uh, to get information regarding any, um, any information regarding your area or to put your comments or concerns uh, so everyone can see. So next we'll go ahead and move on to construction phasing and schedule. So for these projects, water and sewer line installation will be first. 
Uh, once that is completed, the contractor will install temporary pavement uh, to allow traffic in and out until the paving contractor starts their work. So here's a you know, typical construction process. Uh, so first, the contractor will remove existing curbs, drive uh, uh, existing concrete streets and existing curbs. Um, <clears throat> Uh, and um, pavement and curb will be installed together and driveways will be installed right after. Uh, so for asphalt paving, uh, existing curb and driveways are removed uh, first, uh, followed by the demo and installation of the asphalt paving. So in this picture, you can see uh, there's two pictures showing a new asphalt street on the left and a new concrete street on the right. So this is what your street would typically look like um, after construction is complete. So we also have pictures of what new sidewalk and pedestrian ramps will look like after completion. Uh, next, we'll go ahead and move on to the project schedule. So as you can see, this is the anticipated project schedule that we have for the, for this project. Uh, the contractor is um, planning to start October 3rd of 2024. Um, so we'll start down the line. They'll, they'll start working on that cluster of streets, which is McClure, Elba Warren, Merriweather, and Blodgett uh, from October 2024 to October 2025. They'll be working on both streets of uh, Fifth Avenue from February 2025 to October 2025, and they'll move on to the, the two streets uh, sections of West Buick uh, from March 2025 to October 2025. So I also want to note that, you know, construction will not happen this, during this entire time frame. Um, so may, no need to worry about construction happening, you know, for eight, nine uh, consecutive months. So there is, there is a delay where the utilities is complete, and um, there's a lag time before the, the paving contractor uh, has time to come back and, 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 and uh, do their work. So uh, they, they won't be there uh, for those eight to nine consecutive months. Uh, where can I get information from? So on the first link is the link to the actual uh, project web page. Um, you can also go to www.forwardtexas.gov, enter 104183, which is the uh, city project number. Um, so during construction, um, you can go to this web page and you're able to get updates monthly, uh, what's happening within that month and what's going to be happening within the next month. So um, it's uh, it, feel free to go to this website whenever you can if you want to get an update on this project. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, open up for any questions or comments. Let's see if we have any on the chat. At this point, feel free to unmute yourself if you would like to ask a question, or if you would like, you can type your question in the chat and we will get to those. I believe David has his, Gonzalez has his hand up. You're more than welcome to unmute yourself. Yes, sir. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. All right. Uh, yes, I'm David Gonzalez and I live in the neighborhood. And uh, I was going to ask a question about McClure. Um, like you put on the drawing, there are some flood issues between uh, Elver Warren and I think Blodgett. And uh, I think that's going to be worked on. But y'all never talked about draining issues or anything of that kind of nature. And the reason I, I'll bring that up is uh, a few blocks from my house brand new street you know beautiful and i appreciate what y'all did but when it rains it gets flooded so that's why i'm bringing this this drainage issue which which you had that on that picture okay let me move on to elba warren between or mcclure from elba warren to blodgett correct yes sir 
And okay. every time this uh, is my, and, and the reason also I'll bring it up, this is my, my route to go to work every morning. And when it rains, I mean, it, it's bad and it's been band-aid, you know, band-aid for, for a good long time. And mm -hmm. uh, I hate, I hate for y'all to, you know, do this beautiful work and, you know, it's still going to be flooding in the future, like these other areas around my, you know, around this neighborhood. So yeah, I, I do understand that this this area does have um, some flooding issues, and as part of that, we are installing new curb and gutter on McClure to keep that drainage, uh, that you know, that water from crossing into private property and directing it, um, or keeping it in public property and directing it into the channel that is just east of that of, of McClure Street. So, um, you know, with this improvement, we're able to, to capture. Uh, the the water that is that it is now going into private property and able to keep it in the street and direct that um, into uh, into into I believe it's um, Sycamore Creek if I'm not mistaken uh, or it's the creek just east of McClure so uh, we're we're going to make improvements on that. Okay. Does that answer well, your question? Yes, sir. I hope so. I mean, I hope, I mean, like I said, that's why I brought it up because no drainage or any installment of drainage issues was talked about and that's a big old issue yeah, in, yeah. That, in that block yeah we, we we took we took uh drainage into a big consideration on this project and um you know mcclure street will have a curb and gutter on both sides um to allow the water to stay in uh the street and not drain into private property yes sir and just to, you know, just to piggyback on McClure, you know, I'm going to keep it short. This is, uh, this is the back way for everybody, you know, coming north to south to head to TCC south to OD Wyatt, you know, um, and to seminary also. So, I mean, we've been struggling for, you know, for decades around here. So I just wanted to bring that up too, and I appreciate what y'all doing, but yes, hopefully we keep that drainage in mind. Okay. That's all. Thanks, David. That's all I have. Appreciate it. Okay, we have an, uh, David M. that has their hand raised. Um, yes. You want to hey, go ahead and meet? Yes. Hey, okay. Um, so I have two uh, questions. Uh, on I saw the the uh, street. Is it going to be rounded off? where it, it uh like toward the center and it's going to run on both sides equally or it's going to be flat are the streets going to be flat or going to be rounded off and at the intersection are they going to be dips or are you going to smooth those out because a lot of people race down that street on mcclure so they go pretty fast and so i don't know if we're going to need speed bumps there or because once you straighten out, if you straighten out that road and you don't have no more dips at every intersection on going down McClure, then you're going to have a lot of uh, people, like 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 David Gonzalez said, a lot of people use that back road, and some of them mm -hmm. they're they're going over 30 miles an hour, and and that's with the speed bumps. I mean, with the uh, you know where the intersections are, they have those dips. Yes. So when when if you flatten out that street. It's going, it's going to increase the speed of that, that street on McClure uh, going toward Butler. So we're going to probably going to need uh, speed bumps. So if you flatten it out, uh, put some speed bumps. <laughs> that way we don't have to go back and do it over again. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, so, so to answer your is first that, question. Is that possible? So I, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and go to the, I think you had, a, you had two questions, right? So that first question I think was regarding to, uh, you said something about rounded off. Uh, could you discuss? Could you yes. kind of go detail a little bit more about? What you were hey, asking? Christian, just asking if yeah. the roadway will be crowned or super elevated along McClure, and the and the roadway will be crowned. Yeah. There will be a high point in the center where the water is being diverted and being captured at the cur at the curb and gutter equally on each side, sir. Okay, that's exactly what I what I meant. <laughs> Sorry about that. I didn't I didn't know the term. Yeah. Oh, no worries. Thank you, no worries. But that's exactly what I want. That's why I'm here for. Okay. And 
Th thanks, Hunts Up. And then the second question is regarding dips. So, um, correct me if I'm wrong, Hunts Up, there will be some sort of low point at the intersections um, to direct. Once it gets to the, the water, gets to each intersection, that low point um, will will be the the main the main you know direction of where the the water is going to go. So. You know, what, once it gets in the intersection, it's going to dip down into this, what we call as kind of a, a gutter line. Um, and then it'll flow from the intersection to the creek east of McClure. So there will be some sense of a dip because that will allow water to drain into that, into that specific gutter line and then drain uh, east into the, to the creek. So um, it won't be a straight, you know, a straight you hey, know, grade all Christian. the way through the intersection. There will be some dips. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, Christian, I want to just um, chime in on this a little bit. You mentioned uh, traffic calming measures such as speed humps. Um, if there's not speed humps out there currently, we're not going to be putting any in. However, uh, once the street is completed, uh, you can request a speed study to be done on that street uh, to see if traffic calming measures are warranted. Well, I'm I'm only thinking about the because of the dips. The dips will 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 be adequate enough, I believe, unless any of the neighbors uh, have any complaints of, about that. But like we, I'm also thinking in the future when uh, Sequio Vasquez Park is is a uh, is built, um, I'm expecting more traffic around that area. So and there's going to be more children riding their bicycles from their houses down that street to the park. Once we get baseball going on over there at that park, there's going to be a lot more traffic. So those sidewalks are going to be important. Also, that brings up uh, the width of the sidewalks because um, maybe it may not be safe uh, for the kids to ride out their bicycles down McClure if they're going towards Sequel Vasquez Park. They may be able to uh, use the sidewalk for their bicycles, and maybe we might need a, a wider. Um, sidewalk maybe just throwing it out there i'm not i'm not like requesting it i'm just thinking maybe if that was an option or or something like that so so there is there is a new sidewalk that's going to be installed um, um as far as any kind of uh anything to designate to the bike lane that we don't have there's not enough right away to install uh, a wider sidewalk um to accommodate for bikes uh so it's a five foot sidewalk yeah, I'm. I'm not thinking about adults riding the bicycles. I'm. I'm more thinking about the little kids riding their bikes, um, to the park. Uh, but that's okay. That's that. Just, that was just throwing it out there. Um, but I. Um, as, let's, I believe as as Greg said, we could um, request a speed study to install more traffic calming devices, um, which in, in in sense could help with the speeding uh, along McClure. And um, that's something that okay, we can well, take into account. It, it, yeah, that that's just something we could talk about later. Um, that 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 was just um, uh, cause I was thinking that in the future, it it'd probably be more useful if we do it over there on uh, uh, sorry, uh, not McClure but the other street, um, uh, Butler. Like once we once we go east on Butler, that's probably where we're going to need the speed bumps because. The, the road is more uh, flat, and that's where the speed comes when they're going east on Butler and when they're going west on Butler. But it, it will it will the, it will be speeding up as long as we have uh, flatter streets or, or smoother streets. The speed will increase. I already know. I, I used to live there about 30 years ago, uh, down that street on McClure and Debbie. So I, I used to see it when I was a kid riding my bike over there. But yeah, that's, okay. that's all. I, that's all. I, that's that's all I had for y'all. Okay. Oh yeah. Maybe, maybe maybe one thing. So this does this include uh, uh, lights lighting in that area? No, we don't have any uh, street lighting improvements for this project. Okay. That that that, that then that's all the questions I had. Thank uh, you. Thank you, David. Thank you. Okay, Christian, we have a question in the chat. Uh, it's, okay. It says, uh, for requests for bigger driveways, how do we go about that? 
So I, I believe this is if you want a bigger driveway than what you already have out there. So I'll go ahead and take that question. So we're going to be matching your existing driveway width while while uh, when we do the reconstruction. So if if you want a bigger driveway, this would be something that you could speak with the contractor about while uh, while he's out there on site. Yeah, and I don't know if Dan wants to chime in on that. I believe you're muted or your microphone's not working, Dan. If anybody has yeah. any further questions, like I said, please feel free to unmute your microphone and, and ask the question or post it in the chat. Okay. Hello? Looks like Dan. Yeah. David. Hello. Okay. Uh, I see that Dan McLean with uh, McLean Construction is trying to talk. I don't, I don't think your microphone's working, Dan. So uh, if you if you'd like, just put it on the chat what you were going to say, and I can reiterate it to uh, to the to the audience. Um, David M, did you have a question? You had your microphone unmuted. Yes, yes. Um, okay, so um, I have one question. So when you, how are you gonna reroute the traffic that's gonna be over there on McClure and uh, Butler? At that uh, corner. So we don't make on any plans of rerouting traffic. There will be lanes open to traffic. Um, okay. I found this on So as, as far as rerouting traffic, the only detour or traffic uh, rerouting that we'll be doing is on uh, West Buick Street from Hemphill to May. That will be a road closure, and uh, not a lane closure. Lane closure will just have one lane close to, uh, to construction and one lane open to traffic. So there will be, you'll be able to uh, go in and out whenever we're doing construction on the clear. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, let me go back to so hey, Christian, I do want to make one correction when I answered David's question earlier. Um, I was looking at the Bewick Street plans. Uh, I thought we were on that. Uh, McClure is super elevated. Uh, however, that was done to fix the drainage issues that that was mentioned earlier. And we are rerouting the drainage to the creek, as you mentioned, to the east. So that was the purpose of that. I do want to make that clarification and get that noted. Okay. Thanks, Hanzo. Okay. Um, there is a question in, in the chat uh, from David Gonzalez. I think it's more of a comment, but it has to do with reporting flooding issues at a different intersection. Uh, David, if you're not getting any response on the MyFort Worth app, um, I'm going to put my email address in the chat and please, please send me, um, send me your comment and I'll try to get it to the right people. Yes, sir. Appreciate your help. Then I think we just got a comment from Dan McClendon with McClendon Instructions. So he, he, he said, please make requests for additional driveway width or replacement of the driveway behind the city portions uh, to the foreman on the project once paving work uh, gets underway. Uh, we frequently do this work uh, for the citizens on our projects by allowing our work crews to do this work directly for the homeowners. Um, so I think that was Paracela that had that um, question regarding driveway widths. So that answers that question there. Um, I believe David Gonzalez, did you have another Comment or question, you had your hand raised. Hello, yes. Um, 
uh, some of the streets over there, I think it's Minden. There's um, like some like I guess the, the it's the, when it starts flooding over there off of McClure and and, and Minden. I started noticing. Um, is there any way we could get a rail? Because there's there's a there's a a family with the little kids. They play out there. And I when I drove by there last year, uh, when this was coming up, it rained, and I saw the kids. I was like, well. If the kids are avoiding the police, uh, uh, let's say there's a, um, a traffic, a, police, a car or something like that going down the street, and they have to get over to the side. Um, I don't know if you're going to put a sidewalk over there or anything, but I know that if they go over and they slide into that area, they could drown. And so, will there be any like where there's like deep, um, uh, I guess. Um, well, alongside the road, if there's any like deep water over there, could y'all put a rail or something like that, or 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 signage to say like be careful flooding or something like that over there on so Minden? And, what specific uh, on uh, What specific location, McClure, and, and what in uh, the street? And I think it's Minden. Okay. Is that is that north of our project, or uh, guessing that is? Is it? Uh, yeah, if, if so, the, that intersection doesn't come to mind. It seems like it's out of our project scope. Um, oh no, 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 no. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It was it was Merriweather. Is that what you are doing, Mary Merriweather and uh, McClure? There's we a, are doing uh, improvements on Mer yeah at the intersection of Merriweather and, and and McClure. Yes. Yes, Merriweather and and McClure. There's like um runoff. And there's like a ditch over there, and yeah, that street right there. Yes, I'm looking at it right there. That's that. There's that. There's a family where there's little kids. They play over there, and so I was worried about um, if they were, let's say, they were like the car was coming, they had to get out of the way. Uh, if they fell inside that ditch, uh, uh, like it, the water runs really fast over there, and it's and it's kind of deep as it is. But I don't know if what you're going to do is going to fix that. So I'm not sure if that applies anymore after y'all fix it. But if y'all could have any, if there's going to be rails or anything like that, is that in the budget or can that be where, where there's a safety, safety issue? Can that be added later on? I'm sorry, this so, is on Merriweather or on McClure? It's on Merriweather. Merriweather on the uh, west. Is it the west? Yes, it's the west side of uh, going west on on uh, off of McClure on Merriweather. Okay, so, uh, so for the improvements on Merriweather, this is a water uh, funded street. So what is going to happen is that's going to just go undergo new pavement construction, um, uh, along with the new utilities that they're installing on Merriweather. So that that specific street is a, a water on the street. So, but I can, I can tell you um, that improvements along this area will be improved by adding curb and gutter on, on McClure. Um, so, uh, so, David, I'm sorry. Uh, so, this is on Merriweather, west of McClure. You say, is it near, near the dead end or where it turns uh, back to the south? Okay. Um, Let's see, I'm looking at this, the map and it's I-35, let's see. If you're looking at the map, it's, on, it's the on Merriweather going left. Yeah, so this Where your red, right red dot is at right there? That side, yeah, that side. So, okay, um, is it near it's the intersection? It's near the intersection, it's, it's, by the, it's right off the intersection right there. It starts getting deeper uh, for the intersection, but it, it it still goes about maybe like two, three houses, about two houses, maybe. Two houses into it, into the Mer Merriweather. Hey, David, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm, at my, I'm using I'm using my little laptop and so I'm over here screening trying to see the map. I'm sorry. That's okay. David, I put my email in the chat just a little bit ago. Would you mind sending me an email directly about this issue? and and uh we'll try to get it located yeah i'll take a picture of it i'll go by there and take a picture maybe maybe tonight or, or tomorrow morning and i'll send you a picture of it okay please do i put my email in the chat you can email it directly to me okay
Yeah. I'm going to move on to the last slide. Does anyone have any other additional questions? Okay. Uh, if not, I also do want to mention that this uh, record this is recorded, so um, it will be uploaded along with the presentation on the city uh, projects website. So, in case if you uh, missed any of this information um, that I presented, uh, it will be accessible to you guys. Um, along along with that, I have my uh, contact information. So, uh, feel free to give me a call regarding any kind of comments or concerns about this project. Um, uh, I also have the construction inspector who will be um, out there uh, majority of the time uh, that's representing the city of Fort Worth. Uh, his contact information is down below. Um, like I said, he'll, he'll be out there uh, day in and day out um, during the construction process. So uh, if you do have any concerns, feel free to reach out to him as well through phone or email. Okay, I want to go ahead and uh, see if anybody else has any additional questions before we end this, uh, this presentation. Okay, that concludes this presentation. I appreciate everyone for coming. Uh, like I said, feel free to contact me or the construction inspector whenever uh, uh, construction is in process. Uh, thanks everyone and uh, have a good evening. Thank you. Christian, are you still there? I'm just wondering if you can hear me. Yeah, I can hear you now, Dan. Okay, I was trying to fix my settings and wondered if I had any success. Sorry, I couldn't speak with the people, but I think they got the message. <laughs>